Free Solo, the 2018 climbing documentary featuring prolific climber Alex Honnold, premiered at the Telluride Film Festival on August 31st, 2018, and went on to win the Best Documentary Feature at the 91st Academy Awards. Today I want to explain the process behind the film, and ground our fascination, as audiences, with watching this spectacle. An interesting element of this film is its anxiety-inducing nature, how as an audience we feel fear and terror for Alex watching this amazing performance, despite the fact that we all know he survives this feat. Even re-watching it, I feel the vertigo and fear, and I want to explore why this is the case. Specific issues I will focus on are the ethical problems directors Elizabeth Vasahelyi and Jimmy Chin faced making this film, as well as outline the ways in which Alex Honnold's free climb of El Capitan may be characterised, as said by the New York Times, as an example of the human sublime, an idea that may be traced back to the philosophies of Immanuel Kant. Let's get into it. Welcome to the film essay. To understand the way that we, as viewers, react to the spectacle presented in the film Free Solo, it is necessary to understand Kantian aesthetics. Immanuel Kant famously distinguished the beautiful from the sublime. By this, Kant meant there is a difference between the beauty possessed by, for example, a painting, and the beauty possessed by a stormy sea. The latter we may refer to as the sublime, experiences like violent storms or huge buildings, which seem to overwhelm us, that is, we cannot get our head around them. This is either mainly mathematical, if our inability to comprehend is because of the size, like a huge building, or dynamical, if our inability to will or resist is overwhelmed by force, like a storm. Free Solo is an example of sublime aesthetic beauty in both Kant's formations. Alex Honnold's climb is mathematically sublime in the sense that we cannot fathom the size of it, the hours of perfection he has gone through as an athlete to achieve this feat. Free soloing El Capitan is thus mathematically sublime on Kant's account. However, it is also dynamically sublime. By this Kant means that our minds are overwhelmed by the force of what we perceive. In this case, I believe that we, as viewers, are overwhelmed by the force of will displayed by Alex. We cannot fathom his decision and his resilience. The sublime for Kant is characterised by being vast, terrifying and powerful, and this explains why we react with such awe as viewers. The film is both awe-full in the anxiety it gives us, but awesome in Alex's athletic achievement. A second area I want to explore is the ethical implications of filming this climb. Investigative journalists often put themselves in harm's way for a story, but the question was how much does the presence of a camera increase Alex's risk of harming himself during this climb? Early on in the film, Alex discusses how he does every free solo in his life without telling anyone beforehand, as he doesn't want the extra pressure. At one point his mother remarks that she is grateful he never tells her when he's about to free solo, as she would worry too much. This introduces the ethical issue of the film around the free solo of El Capitan. Suddenly, hundreds of people were aware of his climb, and thus the pressure was greatly increased. In addition to this, for Alex free soloing is a very personal experience, and you can see this issue as even before he attempts his climb, he has a camera right in his face. This raises the question, how does a camera affect his mental preparation for such an athletic event? To film this ethically, the directors put in place certain guidelines. The first was that Alex's safety was always the primary concern, and the second was they were to do everything within their power to protect the integrity of his personal experience. To film this, they used elite professional climbers who kept their distance and understood why he wanted to do this. For audio, they came up with solutions like putting a tiny microphone in his chalk bag so it wouldn't get in the way while climbing, and the results were spectacular. Overall, Free Solo is a fascinating character study of Alex Honnold that perfectly illustrates Kant's distinction between the beautiful and the sublime. It raises a host of ethical questions about the presence of cameras and documentary morals, as well as showcasing Kant's mathematical and dynamic sublimity in human form. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out my channel for more content.